Hello everyone, I'm Yuji Okuno, interventional radiologist. I'm inventor of MS Cambrization, TEM procedure, and GE procedure. Today, I'd like to uh, introduce our procedure detail about GAE genicular artery embolization for uh, mild knee osteoarthritis. So let's start the case. 55 years old female who have uh, mild knee osteoarthritis but still have a strong uh, medial knee pain, especially uh, what get worsened in the uh, downstairs or standing up from the chest. And uh, this is a movie of our procedure. We started to use uh, an ipsilateral integrate uh, puncture from uh, groin and uh, femoral artery. And right now we perform the core popliteral artery angiography uh, from the sheath of the groin and 10 cc contrast. And we can see that the descending genicular artery, but this descending genicular artery does not contain the articular branch. Usually, most patients have uh, two branches from descending genicular. One is a cutaneous branch, the other is an articular branch. And the articular branch is feeding to the uh, joint capsule of knee joint. But this patient, from this angiography, we cannot see the articular branch. So instead of the articular branch, we can see this relatively big uh, superior medial genicular artery, this one. So I think these patients have a superior medial genicular artery and replaced to the articular branch of descending genicular. Because these patients have medial knee pain, we have to check the superior medial and inferior medial in this case, and also I will check the inferior lateral. Inferior lateral is a lateral artery, but going to the anterior side and go across the patellar and often go to the medial side. So our three target is superior medial and inferior medial and uh, inferior lateral artery. Okay, let's see the procedure. So now I started to insert the microcatheter coaxially into the angiocatheter and the uh, angiocatheter shape is Jadkin's right 2.5. The length is short. 65 centimeter. It's uh, designed for the knee away uh, genicular artery embolization. And we are now near the origin of descending genicular artery. Please notice that descending genicular artery again does not contain the articular branch, but uh, this artery al also contains a suprapatellar branch. But this patient do not have a suprapatellar pain, so we will skip this artery. And the next target is superior medial genicular artery. Superior medial is usually located upper end of the patellar bone or near that and uh, relatively the anterior wall arise from anterior wall of the popliteal artery. Angiocatheter tip is located at, at the origin of superior medial and from here we will insert the microcatheter into the target vessels. So now I insert the microcatheter. We use a 1.7 uh, microcatheter of Asahi's Belute. The name is Asahi Intec, Asahi Belute catheter. It's very useful having a small angle and we can choose the small branch and the torqueability, pushability is very good. So let's see, actually microcatheter inserted into the superior medial genicular artery. And from here, I will doing the selective angiography from here. Let's see the angiography. And now you can see the angiography from superior medial. We can see the brush here, the periosteum of femoral medial condyle, and also here, here is the a meniscus base synovium tissue. So we can see this two uh, different articles, but almost a synovitis finding of the medial side joint capsule. So this is our target of embolization. And this branch also connecting to the uh, inferior lateral genital artery, we can see that. So from here, we will start to prepare the temporary embolic material, next pair F. Next pair F is a gelatin made sphere type particle that is the temporary one. The volume will reduce 50% by two hours. So this is a temporary embolic material, fast resolvable one. Zelachin is made by the connection, by cross-linking. And uh, by changing the network density of cross-linking, we can modify or manage the degradation time. 
If you increase the density of cross-linking, the water or enzyme cannot reach to the it's not easy to uh, reach, so the degradation time becomes longer. If you have a lower density of cross-linking, the degradation time becomes shorter. So this particle is designed to dissolve within two hours, uh, four hours to eight hours. So now I'm preparing the next pair F by shaking and uh, putting the small amount, 0.2 cc is very small amount, uh, putting to the microcatheter and uh, doing saline flush. And now first I will do the saline flush, normal saline flush, wash out the contrast, and after that I put the 0.2 ml and expert F and saline flush again. I will repeat this one time or two times and uh, to confirm the brush disappear or not. So now I firstly infuse the uh, uh, next pair F for this target vessels. And after that, I will do the uh, selective angiography. Okay, now this is the first angiography soon after the administration of next pair F. So we can see the brush decrease, but still some of the brush maybe remained, or maybe we can get more brush if we insert the microcatheter into more distal. So I decided to proceed or insert the microcatheter more distal to the target region because the patient's painful area marked by the X-ray visible marker. So we know that this marker's area is uh, usually uh, causing pain. So now I inserted the microcatheter more distal and doing the selective angiography again. Brush is more visible compared to the last angiography and we can also uh, see the anastomosis between the inferior lateral or inferior medial. From here, I will infuse the next pair F again, one more time, 0.2, and starting flash. Let's see the movie. Okay, so now I'm uh, infusing the next pair F again and fluoroscopy. It's important to observe how much you inject it, actually inject it, and actually alignment, deliver of your particle. It's important to do the procedure more appropriately, safely. So now we can see the anastomosis two and four. So we feel that we injected the enough amount of material. So I will do the last follow-up angiography. And now uh, we can see the brush disappear. So next, I will go move to the inferior medial genicular artery. So usually, the origin of inferior medial is often analyzed in the level of joint space. So always anterior wall of popliteal artery. So we have to control the angiocatheter to the anterior side because this is AP view. So we cannot distinguish with uh, this is anterior side or posterior side. So we have to remember the way of rotation. For example, if your angiocatheter tip is uh, uh, head, because I'm getting used to uh, control angiocatheter always keeping anterior side during GAE procedure because um, every genicular artery is allies from the anterior wall of popliteal artery because popliteal artery is located at the posterior side. I inserted the microcatheter into the inferior medial genicular inferior medial genicular artery and perform the selective angiography. Let's see the results. This is the angiography from inferior medial genicular artery. And you can see the brush from here. The, this brush is a muscle brush, but this area is an abnormal brush. The abnormal brush has contains the medial side of synovitis or pesanceli bursitis. So we can say that this is also a target of our procedure. So from here, we also infuse the small amount of next pair F and sunny flash and repeat it two times or three times. I'm not sure, this time will be uh, two times. So now I'm doing the sunny flash, sunny flash from here.
and puts a small amount of next PIF. Okay, so I put the small amount of next pair F and the sunny flash during the sunny flash. It's important to infuse a small amount in the sunny flash because if you infuse a too much amount in a one time, the first part of particle will go to the nail vessels because nail vessels have lower resistance, vascular resistance, because abnormal vessels contain lots of ebullient, micro ebullient. But remaining as a part of a particle will go to the normal area. So the small particle, small amount, incrementally is very important. So now this is angiography after the infusion of uh, next pair F. Maybe we will insert the microcatheter into more deeper. Now I infuse a more, one more 0.2 ml. Sometimes to insert more distal and push the uh, particle. Sometimes it has anastomosis between the previous one, so it's sometimes good to a little bit push. So I think this is a good position to do the follow-up angiography. We infuse the 0.2 plus 0.2 two times. After that, I will go to the superior lateral and median genicular artery. This is a common trunk of the superior lateral and the median genicular artery. And we notice that median genicular also contains a brush. The median genicular arteries is feeding the ligament of anterior and posterior crucial ligament. And the superior lateral always feeding superior lateral side of synovitis, synovium tissue. So we infuse the next pair F from here, not too much amount. So after that, we can see the infusion of next pair F from here to the artery. Of course, we can insert more distal of microcatheter into two branch, but it's not so make a difference. So it's okay. We now infuse at 0.2 and 0.2, totally 0.4 ml of next pair F. And after that, I will go to the inferior lateral genicular artery. Inferior lateral is also important to treat the medial side knee pain because uh, we noticed that uh, there are two superior medial genicular arteries. It's a little bit tricky. So usually one superior medial, but uh, these patients have two superior medial. And one is uh, to the bone marrow and the other is to the joint capsule. I try to insert the microcatheter into the other superior medial genicular artery. This is not common, it's very rare. So I inserted the microcatheter into the other superior medial artery, which is not the totally same for the first one. So now uh, we want to infuse the both of uh, the superior medial genicular to reduce the uh, inflammatory vessels. And now I want to move on to the inferior lateral genicular artery which is also allies at uh, anterior side of popliteal artery. And now microcatheter in, go into the target vessels. So usually we use a angiocatheter to make a direction and select the origin of target vessels. And we located the angiocatheter tip at the target vessels origin. And after that, I will insert the microcatheter into the target vessels like this. So now the microcatheter tip is located at the inferior lateral genicular artery. So let's see the angiography. From inferior lateral, we can see the lateral side synovitis, and also we can see the anastomosis between the medial side. So from here, we can reduce the inflammation of radial synovitis. I recommend you to use, if you use the temporary embolic material like imipenem or nexpair for repair though, I recommend you to do the all vessels. All vessels means that not only the painful side vessels, but also the other side vessels. And if you find some brush, it's good to treat them, even though the patient do not feel pain because we can reduce some inflammation by doing that. So now I put the next pair F, small amount, and uh, doing saline flush from here. So now I'm infusing uh, next pair F and saline flush. So this is a follow-up angiography. You could see the disappearance of brush. 
And sometimes we can see the anastomosis and over the anastomosis we can see the brush of the medial side. So I want to check once again. This is angiography from the lateral side, but uh, actually want to see the medial side, synovium, blood vessels. So we can see the remaining some amount of uh, brush. So we infuse a small amount of Nexvf from here to get more appropriate results of GAE like this. So I think it's good to do the several artery to check the other part of anastomosis and also treat there. And now we can finish the procedure. So today I showed you our uh, procedure detail of GAE procedure. And after this, we check the tenderness of the medial side of knee pain and the patients often feel the disappearance or reduction, much reduced painful tenderness. So I can confirm the early results of GAE on the table. And after that, we will do the manual compression 10 minutes and the patients one hour bed rest and the patients can go home on the same day. So today I show you the detail of GAE. Could you enjoy it? If you have any comment or question, uh, please describe in the comments earlier. And also please remember, uh, recently we are now planning to run the Benti meeting of 2025, November 7 and 8 in Tokyo. Please check it. That's all. Thank you very much. See you again.